what are your cravings? Mine? Pretty much my cravings are her cravings. They have to be. I'm not gonna make a separate meal for everybody. I feel kind of bad sometimes, but <laughs> I don't either. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to another video on our channel. Today we are going to be doing a pregnancy Q&A. We have a lot of juicy questions. I have them all here on my phone, so we'll go ahead and answer all of those. But we did want to go ahead and thank you if this is your first time seeing any of our videos. We would love if you wanted to subscribe to our channel. We have a lot of things that we plan on doing. We're going on an adventure this weekend, so we're gonna be filming all of that and posting it on here for you guys. So go ahead and subscribe to our channel and hit the like button if you like this video, just so that we know what you guys are enjoying and what you aren't. But I think we should just get into this video. Let's do it. So the first question, how did you tell your husband? Um, this is Hold a, on, this I'm, gonna tell, I'm gonna tell this one. All right, cause she was super sweet about it. I was sitting on the couch and she walked up like towards, you know, like through my side, right? Threw the pregnant stick at me and ran off. That's how she told me. <laughs> I didn't know how to tell him. And I can't keep a secret from him. He knows too much. Uh, Guys, don't judge me. No, actually, I don't think the fact that she threw that at me was funny. My reaction, <laughs> sitting by myself, looking at this thing, trying to process the whole thing. Uh, <laughs> Surprise! So, yes, we wanted to have another baby. Oh, was it supposed to happen right there? No, but hey, here we are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were gonna wait until the beginning of the year, but... um. Guys, that didn't happen. But the baby was coming in on 2021 that was happening. Yeah. Weird fun fact though, this baby has the same due date that Thea had. Like, <laughs> like to the day. Like not the same month, like to the day. Same due date. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we're looking forward to that. <laughs> Hopefully they'll have different birthdays though. I'll feel <laughs> kind of bad if they have the same. That's about as bad as your friend trying to get engaged on your, your wedding, wedding day. day. <laughs> Yeah, no thank you. Next question. How is this pregnancy different from Thea's? Okay. It is different. It is very, very different. Yeah, do you want to tell your side first and then I'll say mine? Okay, so I'm gonna tell Thea, Thea's pregnancy. Okay. So Thea's pregnancy, easy. Like, she will, a belly grew. She actually- she, I threw up almost every single day the entire pregnancy though. Right. You were able to get up, you were working on your feet. Yeah, I was a waitress. So all, I was working like 12 hour days. All day long. She was on her feet all day long. I have no idea how she did that. That belly was growing so fast. She was so, so tiny and this belly kept growing and growing and growing. And I see her every single day, just leaving the house, going to work. Yeah, props to that. Cause I don't know how you did it. But from my... Perspective? Yeah, from my perspective, I think the pregnancy with Thea was was good. Yeah. And no, the was. only reason I think is good, well, the only reason I can say it was good is because wait till you hear how this one is going. Okay, so this one has been really rough. Thea's really was so much simpler and like, I don't say this to be gross, but I hands down would rather just throw up and get it over with every morning like I did with Thea. But this one, I just get these horrible headaches and I'm so drained all the time like I just it is such a battle to make it through the day without a nap even now at like 16 and a half weeks it's just exhausting mm -hmm. like I can't wait for when Thea wants to take her nap so that I can join her I know and, and I feel so bad for you guys because we kind of disappear and it's not that we wanted to it's just to try to sit yeah and do a video and for her to have like the energy to get through filming a video super difficult so you know what I said, let's just do it when you feel better. She feels better now, mm -hmm. so we're here. We're doing yeah. this now, and it's, you know, what well, we're just happy we're back. How does it feel to be pregnant after a miscarriage? So it is a total blessing. Oddly enough, this pregnancy, I had a miscarriage before, and then when I was pregnant with Thea, before that I had a miscarriage before her. It's really, for me, it's kind of difficult because I get so anxious for the first, like, 10 weeks of the pregnancy, like, from the time that I find out until, like, 10 weeks when I feel confident in the pregnancy anything I'm just constantly freaked out and worried I mean if I go to the bathroom I'm like inspecting the toilet paper to like an extreme just because I get so anxious but I also feel like completely blessed and I think I enjoy the pregnancy more than I would have if I hadn't experienced a loss just because I know how precious and valuable what I'm getting to do and having the opportunity to do is what about you what's, what's the guy's side to that some people that I have talked to they 
after they found out we had a miscarriage, they came and asked me, you know, like, how you doing? So I answered the question. And a lot of people didn't realize how much the miscarriage affect, you know, both of us. Yeah. Uh, I know that I'm physically, I'm not going through, I'm not going through the loss, but a loss is a loss. And, you know, from the moment you found out, uh, we found out she was pregnant, I'm already making plans. I'm already like making ideas in my head on how the baby's gonna look and what we're gonna do. And then all of a sudden you get the news. Yeah. You know, so, you know, we decided like after we had it, we're like, okay, let's go, let's go ahead and wait, wait for everything to be normal. Yeah. And then wait for the, before we announce everything. Yeah. Oh yeah. So no, what I was going to say is like, because you got pregnant like really quickly. Yeah. Again. But for this one, we waited, we waited months before we told someone. We didn't even tell my parents um, as early as we told them about Thea. We waited. Yeah, we waited. We, we waited. waited a lot. And uh, we just wanted to be sure because, you know, the more people you tell, then the more people you have to share tell and with. share the news of what happened. But hey, pregnancy is going great. Yeah. Yeah. 16 and a half weeks already. It's crazy to think that I'm already almost halfway through this pregnancy. Mm -hmm. Again, like it, time seriously flies. That's crazy. We're about to have another baby. I know. You know how you think Thea is a baby? <laughs> Wait, you she's have not, one. but oh. she's so, but she's so little still. Thea's already doing so many things. Like earlier, like I was, we were about to, to do this video. We were about to sit down over here, and then I realized that I didn't have a hat, so I asked one of the older kids, "Hey, go get me a hat." And Thea, the one-year-old, she went on her own. Nobody told her. She went on her own, grabbed the hat, and brought it to me. She's doing all these things, like this big girl things. She's a year old super smart super fast and i think once we have the baby then we're gonna realize how big she is yeah and yeah. realize how much of a toddler she's actually turned into oh i know i know she's not quite that much I'm of a not, baby anymore. i'm not ready <laughs> you know next thing you know she's 16 next thing you know she's oh. paying taxes and all no, that no 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 yeah. no 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 then next thing you know she's like 20 and still living at home and <laughs> all of that. Alani, it's okay i'm kidding i'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. You can stay here as long as you want. <laughs> what is it like to be pregnant with a toddler and three other kids in the house? Honestly, it's super nice to have the teenagers. And I mean, Alani's not a teenager anymore. Actually, they're like young adults, most of yeah. them. It's super helpful having them. But honestly, sometimes it's so exhausting because Thea is just wild all the time. And like the kids have fun downstairs and they're usually like singing and things like that. So sometimes it's just hard to find like a quiet moment in the house because there's so many things that live in this house between the yeah. dogs and the cats and the kids and him and me. It's just sometimes I just want like total yeah. peace and quiet so, and I so, don't get it. So I think every single day, this house doesn't go quiet until at least 11, 11, 30. That's when the house actually starts going quiet. Cause that's usually when the older kids settle down. <laughs> They do have a lot of energy, uh, especially oh. being at the house all day long. They kind of entertain themselves in here. They kind and, of don't uh, have a choice. Yeah. Especially with all the rainy weather we've been getting, they haven't even been able to like go to the park or anything in our neighborhood. Okay. Are you craving salty or sweet? 110% salty. Uh, salty and sour. Sour, that's what yeah. I was gonna say. I, I love my sour candies. Salty food has been a huge thing. Not so much sweet stuff, but recently I've gotten a little bit more into the sweet side of things. What are your cravings? Mine? So pretty much my cravings are her cravings they have to be because you know whatever she's on the mood for that determines what everybody else is gonna eat i'm not gonna make a separate meal for everybody so whatever she's craving that's what we gotta eat i feel kind of bad sometimes but <laughs> i don't either <laughs> what is one thing you enjoy about pregnancy what is something mm. you've enjoyed about pregnancy with me you know i, I have to specify with me because you have so many the enjoyment of pregnancy is usually like after she has the baby just thinking back about everything you went through, helping her, for me, this is for me, like helping you out with certain things, like even when I don't want to like get up and go do something. He doesn't. Like, <laughs> like I have to do it, you know, like I have to. Like he had to take Alani to work the other day, super early in the morning, even though he had to leave to go to work early in the morning. And he was like, are you sure? No, no, cause <laughs> no, wait. It was the one day that I didn't have to like really get up early to go to work, but she had to be at work around the same time that I get up when <laughs> I have to be at work early. So there you go. Anyway, she wasn't feeling well, so I had to get up and do, do that. That's, that's a good example right there. To answer the question, <laughs> to circle back. we completely went off <laughs> on a tangent, it's thinking back of all the things that we went through, through the pregnancy. Because while you're going through it, you're tired. Sometimes you gotta be mad that your life's kind of, you know, kind of get a little bit off. 
the routine changes and well here here we are I'm for me my favorite part has been how much sleep i can get i don't know for me personally i don't have like sleep insomnia issues knock on wood i always can sleep really well when i'm pregnant i love how much sleep i've been able to catch up on having a toddler and thea's been like down to go to sleep earlier lately that's been really enjoyable next question a lot of people ask this are you having a boy or a girl so we are having i don't know what we have no idea. We hopefully we will be finding out soon. Um, but right now we don't know. We didn't do any of like the early testing or anything, and we haven't hit the 20 weeks to do the anatomy scan yet. So we're not sure. However, I think strong, strong feeling that we're gonna have a boy. So for me, I'm going based on statistics here. Uh I think it's a girl. Do you really think it's a girl? <laughs> That's all I make. But you really honestly, like with how different things have been since me for me and Thea's well, pregnancy to this yeah, one? Yeah, no, this this pregnancy has been completely different so I, I don't know i don't like, know like what's your gut telling you not what you think what's your gut say a girl really yeah my gut says a boy and i do enjoy having girls though i just want to put that out there yeah they're fun okay do you want more kids after this i don't know I don't know. I think for me, it's gonna depend on how the like delivery process goes. <laughs> Cause with Thea, it was just catastrophic <laughs> for me. I was terrified. Oh, was I delivered in triage. I didn't even get an option for what I wanted. Like I didn't want an epidural, but say I had wanted one, like the midwife didn't listen to me in time to where I would have even been able to get an epidural. And I mean, I had an entire team of doctors and nurses rush into my little tiny triage room <laughs> and they kicked my husband away into a corner yeah. and and all of a sudden they were counting backwards from 10 and nobody even told me why. Like <laughs> it was such a disaster. So I think depending on how labor goes this time around and how the delivery process goes is going to determine if I want more. I mean, in my mind, I'm like, yeah, I'd love to have like one more, but honestly, if I go through another traumatic birth, I don't know if I could do it. Cause I already have like complete anxiety thinking about going into labor again. So I hope the next one is a little more like- Calm. Didn't even get to use a delivery room for the sole no. purpose of a delivery room. So I really hope you guys enjoyed all of these questions that we answered for you guys. Hopefully some of the questions that you were personally wondering about got answered. If you guys have any more, go ahead and drop them down in the comments below. We will go ahead and go through and try to answer them for you. So I know a lot of these questions came from Instagram. Instagram. Uh, if we didn't answer your question, sorry, it was a lot of them. If you really want an answer, go ahead and put it on, uh, uh, on the comments and we'll go through them. Yes, and we will try to answer them for you. But like I said at the beginning of this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you like this kind of content, just so that we know because we think Q and A's are really fun way for you guys to get to know us on a different level so i really enjoy doing them and it's kind of fun to just sit here and chat with you guys like this if you are new to this channel and you did like what we have to offer i promise you'll like everything else that we're putting out so go ahead and subscribe give us a follow we're gonna get back into our regular routine of posting twice a week life's just been crazy guys i mean i'm sure you guys all know especially with this pandemic it's just it's been hard to just I know, I continue know. certain things of normal life because everything is just our world's all kind of got flipped upside down it's been weird you did but next video we're gonna take you all on an adventure with us. Yeah, we're going on an adventure. Super, super excited. I cannot wait. And Thea's never gotten to do anything like this before, so I think her reactions to things are gonna be absolutely hilarious. And I'm gonna make her wear her little cheetah jacket. <laughs> so, what? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So she'll look really cute, and I think it'll be a lot of fun. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that, and we will see you guys in the next video. Bye! Bye!